I've always felt like traveling is the closest you can get to starting a whole new life without changing your address, cell phone number, or bank account. There is something so appealing about being able to be anyone in a place where no one knows who you are. And it used to be that I could just pack my suitcase and go on a trip and already be at my destination before I had time to think about it. So Magic could ask me, do you want to meet me in California next week? Do a month in Europe? Go to Russia? Do a US tour in a van with five guys? And I would say yes, without any reservations. For years, I only ever partially unpacked my suitcase. When we did have time off, we would miss the feeling of existing in unknown and temporary spaces and often go somewhere else. Things changed though. 2020 happened. The touring industry stopped and the idea of traveling became scary and uncomfortable. I couldn't remember the reasons why I loved traveling so much in the first place. How it gives a new sense of purpose, makes everyday tasks like eating and sleeping feel like adventures, introduces you to new people, and how it gives you the space to learn about yourself while figuring out how to move in the world around you. So while getting ready for this trip, I was filled with fears of the unknown, and packing my suitcase felt as foreign as the places, hotels, and venues that we were preparing to visit. Even though I had visited these places many times before, driving to the airport marked the beginning of what felt like a new and exciting adventure. Our journey started by waking up super early so that we could get to the airport. I didn't sleep the night before and I was drifting in between exhaustion and complete alertness while waiting in the airport. We have touched down in Dallas, Texas. I did not sleep last night because I was so anxious about getting here. Did you get coffee? Yeah, I got bananas. My husband, he does it all for me. He got me bananas and an orange. I love him for this. I washed my face, so I'm feeling refreshed. I, w I didn't pack a change of clothes for like today. I don't know why usually I do. I plan for every other day, except I did not include today. So I guess I have to make two with what I'm wearing. And maybe I'm gonna put on a denim skirt. I don't know. Maybe I'll go crazy. The Uber driver here did say that there's like a country dancing club. So definitely probably not gonna check that out, but I find that intriguing and I feel like my denim skirt would fit right in. Something that I feel like is a game changer and I like should have known this all along is I brought my favorite tea with me this time and I never bring my tea with me. I always just rely on what they have in the hotel which is usually English breakfast tea which is not my breakfast tea. tea. It's not my cup of tea. It's too serious for me. I'm not that serious of a girl which is crazy that they only put that one tea in every room. This one actually had Earl Grey, which is fine, but I'm more of a lady, so I like lady gray tea. Ah! And Slow Magic is more of a seven cups of coffee type of guy. Hey, that's my side. No, this is my side. No, that's my side. You said. Th no, that's my side. We, that was your side. But you light on my side. So, I'll fix it. I love him. kind of scary. <laughs> I want one, but it's machine. I love him. This is my outfit for um, just going out to do something. Go to Daiso. It's kind of like I'm, it's my first day of kindergarten, but I made it kind of Western with this belt and this bag from Marc Jacobs, a tried and true bag from Marc Jacobs. I like the bottom. So it's like never dirty when it touches the floor. It's also 10 pounds. So that's kind of a downside, but I love it. We ended up going to Daiso, which was so fun. I love looking at all the pastel and girly versions of everyday items. I would not be able to find like a face mask drying hanger anywhere. Like this is the magic of this store. I love this. I don't quite know what this is for, but look how cute it's for spraying water or something. We're in the water gun section apparently. We're having like a slight break. We're kind of trying to walk to Whole Foods. We think it's walkable, but I never know with Google Maps, it could be anything. I mean, it's Texas, I don't know if anything's walkable. Yeah, that's true. But I'm gonna have a coffee. It's a premium black, luxurious taste, made from premium beans. I wonder how luxurious it will taste. And a little sweet potato thing. This feels like kind of like a dog treat, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. I'm, I'm still getting over the weird potato. This is my outfit for getting ice. 
balancing my camera on a water bottle, which is like the worst idea, an empty one. We're back from our errands, but I didn't show you my Daiso haul. And I look like this because I just, I traveled all day, so that's my excuse. My hair looks crazy. I don't know what it's doing. I haven't slept, but it's still the time to do a Daiso haul. I got some of these basically small bottles to put liquids in. I really like the colors though, the pink and the blue. I got two of those because I feel like I always need bottles and I always want them for Muji, but these ones are cuter. These look like, you know, this. This clear vinyl pouch. Kind of like the ones from Muji. It's like a little bit thinner, but it has like this cute blue zipper. It says on it, I'll prepare and someday my chance will come, which is kind of not the right message, I feel like, for a cosmetics thing. Little Q-tip things, they're individual, which I know is terrible, but they're really good for traveling. And they're like really small baby ones, and they're called baby cotton buds. Well, and I can't really think of one thing that I would use a cotton swab for, for a baby. I'm sure there's like a multitude of things, but I don't know what a baby cotton swab would be for. I got earplugs because I didn't bring any. Some cute rosebud hand lotion gloves because I love hand, hand lotion gloves. They're kind of one of my favorite things to do. I just like to like put a ton of aquaphor on my hands and just put them in the gloves and then leave them on overnight. Face massagers. Last but not least, Silakuma alcohol wipes. Disinfecting alcohol wipes. It is 1 a.m. I think. I'm about to go to bed. No, I'm not. My skin is, I don't know, I just feel stressed about my skin. I don't know if this is like a normal thing, but sometimes I put like spot dots in places where I'm afraid I will break out. Places I'm prone to break out. I don't know if that's making things worse or I don't know. I've been up since kind of basically 9 a.m. yesterday, so I should be more tired, but it's like I don't get tired. I just keep going and that's an issue. So I'm gonna try to wind down. That makes me sound like I have a problem or something, but I don't know. I just, I get a lot of energy when I'm really tired. It like fuels me. So I'm going to read a book. Found it at the thrift store and I'm gonna go to sleep hopefully sometime soon. The next day we went shopping and ate lunch at a Korean restaurant that we really liked. Bang, bang, pop off like a long gun. I'm about to get into the shower, but earlier we went to another Daiso, which sounds weird, but we just don't have Daiso and we just wanted to check it out, but there were all these other stores around there, and I ended up getting some stuff and I wanted to do a little haul. Mainly, it's from this store called Tesso, which I could have spent all my money in. It's like a, it felt kind of like a Japanese drugstore sort of place. Let me show you what I got. First from Daiso. Got a pair of socks, this little pill organizer to put our vitamins in, a hand mask, cherry print bandana. It's got cherries on it. It says cherry from the Tesso. First we got this. It's like a Himalayan dog chew for Bambi. It says birthday, we won't be there for it. It's birthday's on Sunday, so. These aroma bath salts to add. I don't know what it smells like, but this lady looks hella relaxed. I got some more like bath, rubbery milk bath salt. I got a lip mask, a foot mask to like balance out my hand mask. Another one of these lip masks, hydrating facial mask, and these under eye patches that I've used in the past and that I really like. I feel like my tripod choices as of like have been just bad idea after bad idea. It's not good, but. Day. 
so thirsty. Mm -hmm. I've blown out my hair and now I'm gonna curl it and make it big. Dolly Parton stuff. I feel like people always ask me how I get my hair so big. And this is basically my... I mean, it's not Dolly Parton big, but I feel like it is not flat. And I think that's because I'm short. I feel like if I were taller, I wouldn't feel the need to compensate for my height so much. I just feel more evened out with bigger, bigger hair. Most people roll this back, but I like to roll it forward. So I roll it and I take a Velcro roll like this big, so it's still warm. And I go like these. And I take one of these alligator clips. I don't know what these are called. I go like that. Then I just keep sort of working my way down. So I take it. And this time I do roll it back because I don't want it to go forward. You don't even have to use the curling iron for that long. I guess that depends on the thickness of your hair. I feel like my hair just doesn't need as much time because it's more porous or something. I don't even know if that's how that works. And if the ends feel a little dry, I just take like serum or something and I go like this. And it's easier to do it in a section. And then you just do it with the rest of your hair until you run out of curlers. So after you finish curling your hair, you take hairspray and I don't have that much left of this. And I just leave that to set while I do my makeup or whatever else I have to do. So for like however long that takes. I'll start with this sunscreen. It's tinted and it's honestly the best sunscreen that I've ever used. I feel like it makes my skin look so nice. It's only one shade, but I feel like it's one of those things that kind of blends with whichever skin tone is being put on. It just makes my skin look so much nicer than my skin normally looks. That song was insane. Did you hear that? Yeah. That kind of freaked me out. I'm going to take out my hair because we have like no time. I wonder how fast I'm taking these out because I feel like I'm taking them out so quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to go like, you know, just back home a little bit to get some volume and make it not look too weird because if there's like an open space like sometimes there's a the top of my head it just looks so weird and i get self-conscious about it <laughs> and then i feel like kind of frizzy or whatever so i take a little serum or oil or something and i just kind of smooth the parts especially like the little hairs that are growing up there don't like that and that's like my big hair tutorial. And now I'm gonna get dressed because we have no time. This is my outfit, got denim on denim. They're different, but I feel like this belt kind of confuses it so you can't tell. And these boots that I hope don't hurt my feet. We're sitting in my green room, waiting for our delivery. This is not a comfortable green room. I just don't know what to do with my time. It's too dark to read back here. And shut this so that we can get our next guy through. When we woke up the next morning, we were tired but got ready to go to Austin. I don't know why, but I loved this outfit so much, and that just put me in a good mood. We did have a really mean Uber driver for our drive to the airport, which I try not to let get to me. For some reason, I was amused by all the straws in his backseat pocket. We then took one of the hottest flights to Austin, 
and by the time we got to where our Uber was picking us up, the heat was really getting to me and I just felt so out of it. We went to our hotel and then I had to quickly leave to go to a camera repair store because my camera fell and the lens got jammed in at an angle. This was so stressful for me, but we got lucky and they were able to fix it. We're in the camera repair oh. store and they fixed it and they said to go buy lottery tickets because it's, it's my lucky day. And they did it for free. And they did it for free. We're at the first Whole Foods, I think. The world's first one. But it should have a sign or something. Like, I don't see any indication. We headed back to get ready for the show. Our friend Juku was also playing, so we were looking forward to catching up with him. We got, oh my God, I'm so tired. Only like five something, but we haven't really eaten all day. That's true. We've not been taking care of ourselves. <clears throat> we were busy flying. And honestly, I was on the hottest flight of my life. Yeah. You didn't seem to be as hot for some reason. I feel like the window was hotter. Like sometimes oh, the window's colder, I but I think hot. it was hotter. Yeah. I was hot. But. Got my Pacific, actually garden vegetable salad roll and brown rice with salmon. I got a vegan <laughs> burger and fries and I'm stoked. Now we're just like... The camera fell from where it is right now so be careful. Well no, I put it on... Be I think it's making there. bad tripods like this. We're trying to wake up. It's really hard though. We slept for five hours last night, which feels like it's enough, but I feel like the fact that we're not gonna sleep tonight, like knowing that is making me more tired. And it's like making, like I don't have sleep to look forward to, so I'm just like, I'm so exhausted. I was planning on wearing a cute outfit, but I just don't know anymore. Like I feel so bloated and tired. Maybe I don't have the energy, but I feel like I'm letting myself down. I don't know. We're gonna rally, have some tea and some coffee, and hopefully we'll be good. Stop. Um, I didn't even really change my outfit because I'm tired. Green room, it's got some weird quirks, but the people who work here are nice. I like this. Don't like that. Don't care for these, but I like that. I'll take the, um, the mushroom and quinoa burger. This is the worst lighting of all time. We didn't get any sleep the night before, so in a daze, we headed to the festival a few hours before Soul Magic set time to set up. Yeah, and like this is the grossest thing I would never sit on that. I'm kind of don't I this isn't these sorts of trailers give me the heebie jeebies to be honest. This is a really good camera angle. There's a TV up here. So and we actually have to go back to the stage soon because we have to get some photos taken. Maybe it's just the backstage, but I can only hear every other thing that's playing. Space. Yeah, it's like kind of poorly sound design from what I heard backstage, which isn't a fair representation. Not really fair of me to say. That's yet to be determined. And I didn't even wear a cute outfit because we're tired, not slept. No makeup. Like I want to vlog more of this festival but like I feel so awkward doing it like I feel so out of place just do it. it's like so 
hard. Like, I don't know how to be, like, a fun time vlogger. But I want to be. I want to show you all the fun times that we have. But I'm also exhausted. Like, I am truly exhausted to the point where I don't feel exhausted at the moment, but I do. I'm just going to bring both of my red balls. Did you take your meds today? We met this really cool photographer named Nancy, and we walked around the festival a little bit to take some pics right before the show. We did our first, our first pandemic festival, and now we're going back to the hotel because we're exhausted. Okay, bye. I'm gonna show you what we got. Mm -hmm. wow. The packaging for this is not the most, it's not very green, but it's nice. Look at all this yummy stuff that we got to try. Wait, let's try again. Ready? One, two. <laughs> so clean. So clean. Yeah, let me just get it out. Yeah. <laughs> That was my Texas and Chicago tour diary. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it.